Shabbat Shalom. Our portion this week, Shlach Lecha, begins with one of the most terrible episodes in the entire Torah. The people of Israel stand on the precipice of the Promised Land, and Shlach Lecha, Moses sends out spies to search out the land. And as the story goes, the spies come back laden with the wealth of the land of Israel. At the same time, they return with a story that not only was the land everything that God promised it to be, but that the land was filled with giants and that the place that God had promised to Abraham was unconquerable. Of the twelve spies, two, Joshua and Caleb, step forward and speak in impassioned tones that the land was indeed conquerable as long as people had faith in God. The ten held sway over the masses and ultimately there was a rebellion against Moses. The results are well known to all of us. The people were forced to wander until a new generation rose up filled with faith. What was the difference between Joshua and Caleb and the other people? What gave them the faith to go forward and put their trust in God? I want to suggest that the end of the portion holds the answer. The Moftir, or the concluding section of our Torah reading this week, focuses attention on the mitzvah of tzitzit to place on the corners of our garments the thread of blue, which has now been translated as a strand with five knots and eight strands on the corner of our talitot, of our prayer shawls. Why was this mitzvah placed at the end of this portion? I want to suggest to you that it is the tie that binds us. The mitzvot are really a doorway to our destiny, a reminder to us that we were placed into this world as Jews to make a difference, to transform the world, and to never, ever lose hope. This was the tie that bound Joshua and Caleb, that lifted them up, that made them ready to go forward. The lack of that tie left an entire people to wander in the desert until a new generation arose. The challenge in every generation is to find the tie that binds us to our own destiny and to open our eyes to not what is, but what can be. Because the consequences of choosing otherwise are dire. Shabbat Shalom.